Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hello Dave. We're gonna dive right into the news. We're gonna start in Elite Dangerous, where a Galnet article last week confirmed that Salvation is indeed dead. Now, this has been expected, um, but it wasn't really clear because in the video um, showing the whole Proteus weapon firing and all that, that uh, Frontier released, uh, we saw Salvation on board a ship called Nemesis which was not the mega ship that was in the system. In fact, that ship wasn't even in the system at the time when the Proteus weapon was fired off. Now, it has now been confirmed in the Galnet article that yes, Salvation is dead. Um, Salvation's corpse has been found floating around uh, inside, what was it, HIP 22460. So, uh, so yes, Salvation is in fact dead. Um, it turns out, uh, at least it seems, I correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think that the Nemesis was or is one of Frontier's dev accounts fleet carrier so like it just means that he used that fleet carrier as a as a recording place basically for that uh, for that small like scene in uh, in the video um and didn't change the name of the carrier and therefore the carrier name was available on the little display next to the command seat elite dangerous players be elite dangerous players they go through that they comb through every single frame and extract every single little tidbit of information that you could possibly find in it. Um, so yeah, Salvation is dead, no more Salvation. Um, we will see how the story progress. Also in Elite Dangerous, um, we have two moons about to collide. This has happened before, this is not something new. This has happened many, many times. In fact, there's been located a pair of, of moons that collide every eight days. But the reason why this one is interesting is because it's inside the bubble. So you don't have to travel thousands and thousands of light years. It's basically just smack in the middle of the bubble. You can come and watch it. I posted a video on Saturday about this where I go through all the details, everything you need to know about it. Um, I am going to be live streaming it. More about that later. Uh, I am going to be live streaming it um, on Wednesday. And uh, so if you want to see the event, if you're outside uh, the bubble, outside the black somewhere, I uh, I will be live streaming it and you can go and uh, and watch it. From, uh, from from the YouTube channel or of Twitch, wherever you want. All the information you need is in that video from Saturday. You can go and pick it up from there. Over in Star Citizen, um, CIG is beginning to talk about adding a tutorial to Star Citizen. This is interesting because Star Citizen has always been one of those games where it does not, like, it doesn't even try to make any kind of tutorial. I think the closest thing we have to tutorials is the tooltips that are shown on screen right, like, by default when you, when you brew up the game. So there's, like, a few tooltips on screen. But, but that's it. Uh, there's no tutorial, no nothing, but it seems like now they are working um, towards making it a more integrated part of the game so that you actually have a tutorial that's going to help people get to their ship, and get flying, make sure they figure out the basic controls, stuff like that. And this is, I think it's a great move because I think there's a lot of new players that are probably leaving the game within the first hour because they get to that, okay, fine, I'm in a bet, and, and it's just... For a new player who don't know how the game works, it's a super frustrating process trying to make your way to that spaceship to go into space. Because it's a space game, you want to fly your spaceship. But it can be difficult to figure out without guidance. How extensive the tutorial is going to be, I don't know. My guess is, to begin with, it's only going to be the very basic things, like uh, how to move around, how to get to your ship, um, those kind of things, so that you can begin to travel around, probably introduce you to the map, introduce you to quantum travel, um, maybe it's going to introduce you to the various fans in the Moby Glass, something like that. I don't think it's going to be much more than that for now. I don't think we're going to see tutorials on, like, dedicated tutorials on, on, on combat, on mining and trading and, and all the other activities, because there are still gameplay loops that are being developed upon, and therefore it wouldn't make a lot of sense spending a lot of time in, like, making full-fledged tutorials for it as they will have to be redone later and it seems like they're going for like pretty like voiced thing not just a text-based thing so we'll see but i said i think it's a good move to try and uh, and, and keep players in the game um because well star citizen is really one of those games where you're going to need a friend next to you telling you which buttons to press when and why uh, if you want to have a just half decent starting experience so, now, outside of computer games, I've had quite a bit of fun with the YouTube content ID system, or, well, the content ID system has had a bit of fun with me, maybe. So, <laughs> you know, when that um, when the, when that video with, with Salvation came out, and we were all live streaming on the day, and everybody was super hyped about it, and, and we were watching the, uh, the video together on my live stream. Um, 
the thing is that <laughs> all my, I guess you can see where this is going, all my videos are automatically added into the YouTube content ID system. What that means is that YouTube will automatically scan other videos uploaded to YouTube and if anyone else uses clips from my videos or uses part or the entirety of my video, then um, it's gonna get flagged, basically. Um, to me saying, oh, someone here is using your, your, your stuff uh, and then I can make a decision what to do. Now, when I was sitting there streaming this, this trailer, that somehow, I don't know how, I don't know why it's not been content ID flagged for, for the Elite Dangerous channel, which was the original uploader, but somehow <laughs> that video is end, has ended up in my content ID system. And that means that every time someone uploads a video where they play, where they show that clip, and I'll tell you, there's a lot of re-uploads of that thing with subtitles in all kinds of different languages and in all kinds of different channels, there's been a lot of uploads. Um, it gets flagged, and I have to go in and, 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 and archive them, basically say, no, 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 don't, <laughs> don't, don't do anything. Um, I don't think that the guys uploading it gets any kind of notification about this before or, or, unless I go in and say that I want to either uh, uh, claim it or, or have, a, have a takedown request on it, which I'm obviously not going to do. Um, it's just, in I don't know exactly how, how that works, if they do get a notification or not, I hope they don't. But if anyone out there is, is uploading that and they suddenly get something from me, then just like, get a hold of me because, yeah, this has been a bit of a pain the last couple of days, sitting trying to like, clear all those things out. Amongst the many, 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 many um, ID um, hits there were, there were one where there, it was a guy who was live streaming and he was watching one of my videos doing one of his live streams. And, and then YouTube f figured that out and then said, hey, this guy showed one of your videos. And there has actually been people in the past who've asked me like, oh, is it okay if I, if I show your videos on stream and stuff like that? And, and yes, absolutely. If you are, uh, if you're live streaming and uh, you, need the, like a guide for whatever you're doing and I happen to have a video about it, you're always welcome to go in f and, w and play my videos on a live stream uh, if that's what you're doing. It doesn't matter if you're streaming on like Twitch or YouTube or Facebook or wherever you want to stream, it doesn't matter to me. You're always welcome to take those videos and, 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 and play them if you need them doing a live stream. Now, of course, within uh, limitations, if people begin to just come, like full on re-uploading my videos entirely without making any changes to them, then I might go in and make uh, and take action. But for those of you out there who's just like live streaming or want to make other videos and and want to maybe show a clip from one of my videos in one of your own videos, or maybe you want to use the thumbnail from my videos as a inlay if you want to if you talk about some of the stuff that I've done, you're welcome to do so. Doesn't matter if you're uh, praising or if you're critiquing the video, you're more than welcome to uh, you're more than welcome to do so. And even if it does get caught in the YouTube content ID system, I am gonna go and dismiss those things. Um, and should you come into any issues with it, just get a hold of me and we'll figure it out. Now that leaves me with live streams. Um, as I said, I am gonna be live streaming Wednesday, where I will be starting an hour later than I usually do. Usually I start at 7 p.m. in game time. This time I'm going to start at 8 p.m. in game time because that collision is expected to start at 9 p.m. That's why I want to be there a little bit early. So we have time to get ourselves in position, figure out what's the best place to be when that impact happens. So therefore we're going to start a bit early. We have time for the chit chats. That leaves us with the uh, with a Tuesday live stream spot. And I've been debating. First I thought, okay, since I'm just going to move the live stream to Wednesday, cancel the one on Tuesday. But then I thought... I had another idea, and this is going to be something a little different than what you might see, what you might usually see from me. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if this is going to be something you want to, but let, let's. I want to try it out. Um, I've been working on. I've been wanting to get try to get some time in on, um, on giving the the merch store a bit of an overhaul. Um, not necessarily the store itself. Um, there's some stuff happening around that too, but but mainly the the the. The products selling there, the designs that are that are being sold in there, they need an overhaul. They need to be updated. Need some new stuff, I think. Um, going to remove some of the things that's not really selling. Going to add some more interesting stuff to uh, to the merch store. And I thought it could be fun to do it live, kind of like we sit down and we can come up with ideas, and then um, like 
you guys can come with input and ideas and we can try to make something cool. Um, I've done something slightly similar before on um, actually on Discord, I just live stream it only on Discord, which I do sometimes. So if you want those a little more um, personal live streams, I do that from time to time on Discord. Um, but we were a bunch of guys sitting on Discord chit chatting, and we were talking about like, oh, it could be fun to do this design and this design, and that was actually how we came up with the um, with the pre-flight checklist mark for Elite Dangerous, um, where we had like a list of things that you have to remember every time you undock your ship and we made a list made, made the design and we made 3d models of it so we could see how it would look and, and and all that good stuff it was actually quite fun and people came with input say oh you should put this on the list and this on the list and we should put them in this order or no that font needs to be a little bigger and stuff like that it was really nice having that constant feedback and i thought what if we try to do that again but in a live stream format where we just sit down and, and, and design some things and and then later on and maybe if it turns out well it's we're gonna end up making uh, making something I can I can put on the merch store. We'll see. If you think that's something you would uh, would found interesting, then drop by the live stream tomorrow. Um that's gonna be in the usual time at seven o'clock in-game time, and it's gonna be here on YouTube as well as on Twitch. But that's good for this week. Please go out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and until next time. I'll see you guys in space.